of beets. And today we're going to talk just a little bit about cayenne and a few ways of getting it down. Cayenne is hot and it's not one of the most fun things to get down. But there are ways to do it where cayenne therapy is not painful. And actually, you will get used to taking cayenne if you will be persistent with it and continue to use it. You will get to the place where it's actually no big deal at all to get it down. Cayenne is a valuable stimulant if you are rebuilding your heart, if you are dealing with high blood pressure. It is definitely something that you want to be able to take. Uh, the suggested dose is a teaspoon three times a day for those rebuilding their heart and um, stroke issues. Uh, cayenne is also an excellent aid if you slice yourself, cut yourself, it will stop the bleeding in 10-15 seconds. You pack cayenne in a wound or you dribble the cayenne tincture right in it. I like the tincture because it's not as messy as powder. Uh, the powder is um, a valuable aid and you want at least um, 120 to 180,000 heat units. Uh, what you get in the grocery store is about 40,000 heat units. So you definitely want powder that is um, hot enough to be valuable. Okay, the substitution, if you want to take the powder instead of the tincture, a rounded tablespoon of powder will take the place of a teaspoon of herbal extract. So that would be the translation between using the powder or the extract. I prefer the extract myself because the powder will uh, take and set in the stomach and then I'll burp it up and it feels like acid reflux coming up. Uh, the tincture just goes in and in the case of a really serious emergency, if all you have is powder, definitely use it. But the tincture gets in faster and will uh, in the case of a heart attack or stroke or something like that, it's going to work a lot quicker to take in, in the episode and make sure the blood keeps moving. Okay, the biggest problem that we have with using cayenne is the fact that it's hot and it's very difficult to get down, um, especially while you're learning to get it down. When I began using cayenne, I started with 5 to 10 drops in a big glass with water and I thought that I was just going to die from the heat. Um, I now can do teaspoonfuls and it's no big deal. I take it first thing in the morning when I get up and um, usually it, it doesn't bother me at all. I, it tastes just about like water. I hardly even feel the heat anymore. But in the beginning it was very painful and very difficult to get started. Okay. My suggestion to begin cayenne therapy is to do what I like to call hot lemonade. And you make it with distilled water. I'm just going to do it in the glass. I have the shaker glass here. This is an old-fashioned Tupperware shaker glass that um, works really well if you're going to use honey. Um, I like maple syrup because it disperses better in the drink. But if you're going to use honey, you might want something like this so you can shake it better. Um, the, uh, use distilled water. And I tend to do a 32 ounce glass when I do it. You want to add a teaspoon of cayenne. This is a two ounce bottle. So four dropper fulls. And a dropper full is about halfway up the tube, about this much. And that's considered a dropper full, and four of these equals a teaspoon. So I'm going to go with a whole teaspoon in here. Like I said, I've already had mine this morning, but I'll drink another one. It definitely won't hurt me. Anymore. And um, when I make hot lemonade, I add apple cider vinegar to it. This is not one that is used by everyone, but it just adds a little octane to the drink. And I don't measure, I just pour a glug in there. And a uh, tablespoon, two tablespoons, something along that line is what I use. Um, I'm not, I like the brag, but there are other brands out there that are good also. So um, I'm just using what I currently have on hand here. Um, 
lemons are great to you, um, fresh lemon juice. I know I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to come down and juice a lemon every morning or something along that line. So I tend to use the real lemon juice. And no, it's not perfect, but it works. And uh, I just put it in there until I know it's nice and tart and um, what I like. Um, an ounce, whatever. You want it to be nice and tart. And then you're going to add, I don't add this right now for myself um, because uh, I don't want the carbs. But um, a good maple syrup, um, you just add in as much as you want to flavor for sweetness. And like I said, if you're going to use honey, you're going to want a shaker glass because honey is just going to sink to the bottom and stay there and you're not going to get any benefits from it. But that is basically hot lemonade. Now the way to drink it when you're first starting out is you take the first swallow and you swish it around in your mouth, light your mouth up with it, and then set your glass down and allow your mouth to cool off. This is going to numb your mouth so that the rest of it is not going to be hot and painful. And it usually will stay throughout the day. So as you drink your other glasses of hot lemonade throughout the day, they're not going to feel so hot. When you're first starting, though, you know, you may need to, to do 10, 15 drops and do that procedure and build yourself up. Stay with it. The taste buds in your mouth are replaced every 30 days. Every 30 days, you have a new set of taste buds. So what is hard to get down right now, what is really hot in 30 days is not going to seem like that much. So just stay with it, keep using it, and um, it will become easier to take. But when you're doing it, oh, and the other thing is the straw. If you're not used to, I don't know that I have one here. Um, no, I don't. So. Um, but a straw will take, when you suck it through the straw, it's going to hit the back of your throat and so it won't be so difficult on the whole mouth. But go ahead and take your first swallow, swish it around in your mouth, let your mouth just get heated with it. Like that. And for me, it's really no big deal. Yeah, I do. I know there's cayenne in it. I can feel the cayenne. But, um, other than the tartness from the lemon juice, it's not bad. And then you would set it down and just let your mouth cool, let the heat dissipate, and um, then a few minutes later, you can just come back and drink the whole thing. <coughs> now I'm going to call. <coughs> but I get to talking and drinking at the same time. <coughs> Normally I can get this down <coughs> in one swallow, but circulatory aid and will increase circulation throughout the whole body. So learn to take your um, <laughs> hot lemonade and um, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact us here. And if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to us. We would love to uh, know that you all enjoy them. Thank you.